Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on the Clinch River Homestead. I'm John. I'm Nicole. And today we're going to be taking a tour over to our modular home builder site so we can take a look at our new house that just got built and it just got delivered. We've got a lot to talk about on today's episode, like where we've been. Stick around, get comfortable. See you soon. way to Clayton now. So I want to talk to everybody about where we've been and why we haven't really posted anything. We had <laughs> nothing to really video or uh, show anybody really. So we finished up the orchard and we've been getting some raspberries and uh, some blackberries from there and strawberries. strawberries. We got to go to the nursery and we got to get some more mulch. So we're going to be doing some more of that here uh, in the next upcoming weeks. So on I guess some of the previous episodes we were talking about work and what we were going to do for work and whatnot and so i decided to start my business back up again so if you need appliance work in tennessee give me a call <laughs> prices are getting really high are prices high up in your area if they are comment down below and let us know what some everyday prices have gone up to where you live luckily we were we did this at the very beginning a year ago almost and well, we were able to lock in certain prices because now if we were to do this same work, we've already talked to our excavation team and it would be almost double for all the parts uh, that they're going to use for all the septic system and water lines and all that stuff. So, you know, uh, I feel for anybody who's trying to build a house right now, but if you're trying to sell a house, you're in a really good market right now to sell a house. You might not have anywhere to go, but you can sell it. The weather's great. The scenery is beautiful. So I really couldn't ask for much more other than a house. So that's what we're gonna go show you now. So stick around. We'll bring you back once we get to the house site. Okay, so now that we're almost to uh, Clayton, I just figured we would give you a little description as to what we're going to be looking at here today. So the house that we had picked out um, is called the Hawthorne and it is 28 feet wide by I think 60 feet long and it's approximately 1,680 square feet. So it's three bedrooms, two full baths, uh, kitchen, living room. And so depending on how it's split, we may or may not have access to some rooms. So I don't really know. We'll figure that out once we get there. But I just wanted to let everybody know exactly what we're going to be looking at today. And we are going to be filming the whole building process. We'll be using the drone and some handheld cameras uh, once they start the building process. And I think they're going to be coming out by the end of this week, this week. Yeah. End of this week, this week. I can't wait to see the before and after after they clear all that property and they're taking out a good amount of trees that are in the way. It'll be interesting once this comes and gets set up. I've never seen anything like it before, so. I've only seen on the internet, but, yeah. <laughs> now they're not gonna be using a crane or anything to crane anything in because to get a crane back to the area is probably pretty hard to do. Not to mention, it costs about $50,000 just to get a crane to be brought to the property, so. <laughs> Like we're here. Little, like a little kid. We're here. Let's go see what we got. <laughs> All our family. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Do you care if I put you care if I put you in the video? That's totally fine. Okay, cool. All right, so we just got to the house. We're gonna take a look underneath of it and see what's what it looks like underneath. So let's go. All right, so all the insulation and it's on this I beam suspension under here. So these, instead of being white, we picked bronze to go just to be different. Here comes the chariot. <laughs> and this is Matt. He's been helping us throughout the whole process. Hi, Matt. How's it going? 
Okay, so he's got to go get the keys, and then we'll be going inside to take a look at the inside. Oh, let's take a look at the ends. I'll show you how they do the ends here. So the all the ends here will be finished on site uh, once the house pieces are completely put together. Um, but it is watertight here, so this way nothing can get in the ends. And as you can see, depending on how they broken this up, we may or may not be able to see certain parts, so. Looks like you got a lot of houses there. Yeah. All right, so let's go look at the other side of the house. Here is the other side of the house, or the back of the house. Or I should say the other side of the house here. All right, here we go into the new castle. Just left Clayton Homes and we're on our way back to the house. So there was a couple things that were not exactly correct. There was one room in particular that we really couldn't get into that we really wanted to, and that was the master bathroom. So everything in there looked great, except for the master shower. So it was supposed to be all tiled, and it's a four foot by three foot or something shower, and they've got a fiberglass insert in there which is okay missing a window in the bathroom over top of the shower and the spare bathroom and we really did like that because it lets so much natural light in um and we just like the idea of having natural light and not having to turn the lights on or you know just the outside light coming in missing a shoe rack in our yeah in our master closet and again i'm really not too pressed on that because they can just send that and we can screw it in oh but the colors, everything looks pretty good. Uh, the carpets are nice. We love the layout. Um, I love the floor to ceiling. We're well, not completely floor to ceiling windows, but they go down pretty far. Oh, one other thing we noticed, the light above the island in the kitchen is not centered with the island. It's centered with the room. And we went, we had the same issue in our last house that we left and I had to move the light because they didn't have it centered over the table. All in all though, I think it really looks good. The siding looks good. The outside really looks good. Um, so we just can't wait to get started. And they reassured us that they should be getting to the property by the end of this week, weather permitting, maybe next week. So 
We will let you know. Oh, and also thanking Matt at Clayton Homes for his help today. Um, he did a good job. Yes, and we want to thank you, Matt, for all the work that you've done for us so far. And today, pushing around those steps were probably not easy. So thanks for all your help and uh, getting us squared away with this. Hey, if anybody has any questions about the process, or if you just want to know any general questions about homesteading, post those down below in the comments section. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe and tick that little bell down there so you don't want to miss any future videos. And to all of our Clinch River homesteaders out there, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.